The International Farm Workers Forum will be a crucial gathering that recognizes that farm workers across the world face very similar challenges and battles for their livelihoods. We will be able to build international farm worker solidarity while also learning from each other's struggles to share ideas, share experiences and indeed build a powerful, united, global farm worker voice. The forum I think is very well set here in South Africa. Although the apartheid regime has gone, little has changed on the farms uh, from those times. So I think it's really useful to have that contact, be a reminder of what we need to do uh, around improving working conditions and the wider discussions around farm workers' access to land and housing. Collectivism is a very key important tool in, in the working class. There are quite a number of companies that are of a trans-international nature in the sense of you may find them here, you may find also them in other parts of the world. This uh, solidarity helps to curb discrimination amongst transnational companies that are found here and also abroad. And they play us off against each other, saying if you ask for too much here, we're going to get cheaper products from this other country. We faced that in the tomato fight with Campbell Soup Company. They threatened us with buying cheaper tomatoes from Mexico. So what we did is we went to Mexico and organized the collaboration with the Mexican unions and uh, demanded that Campbell Soup pay them more. In uh, seven short years, we increased the wages uh, by almost 100% of the workers. Uh, in these agreements and we ended child labor and got them out of the fields and into the schools. We compelled the, the corporations, not the farmers who are employers, to pay for these costs. And our motto always was, look, you know, we don't want charity. We thank you for your good heart, but we want a fair day's pay for a fair day of work and we'll pay for our own needs. Trade unions in the tea sector have traditionally been led by men and the men who have led these unions they're not really workers themselves on the other hand the workforce is 70 percent women and there are very few of them in the union leadership so our attempt is to build new unions where more and more women can take up leadership positions. i mean maybe consumers don't realize it but things like you know all the packed salads uh, all of these pre-packed vegetables those are often prepared by women in pack houses around the world and the statistics i think are quite clear that women now make up about 40 percent of the agricultural workforce and they face many many issues the pay gap is huge and I think very topical today is the amount of sexual harassment that women in agriculture are subject to we as women in the forum have sent a very clear message that equality has to be central to our thinking we're trying to get the transnational companies to react and to build pressure on the companies and one of the ways is to organize along the supply chain and put pressure on the company to respect human rights of workers who are especially down the supply chain on the farms. And they asked a question, where is our salvation? Then the union said, the salvation lies in your hands when you organize together. You are able to fight together and you are able to win together.